What's up everybody, welcome back to another Cooking with Hannah Caps. This week we're going to be making acai bowls. What you're going to need is an acai performance protein pack by St. Boson, um, some apple juice, and bananas. And maybe some toppings at the end. And if you do what we do today, you're going to make 184 calories with 32 carbs and 13 grams of protein. Pause the video right here and check out exactly what you're going to need for serving sizes. What's up guys, this week I'm going to take you through my chest day program that I like to do when I kind of hit a plateau. Definitely helps with increased strength gains. Here's a little layout of what it kind of looks like and I will put the specifics for each set and rep in the tags below the video. Hope you enjoy it. I walk alone, I walk alone. I walk alone, I walk up. What's up guys, welcome back to another Food for Thought. This week we're going to be talking about pre-workout benefits, kind of where it came from, and all that inhabits it, as much as we can in, in about a minute or so. Quick background on pre-workout, the first of its kind, the idea was to create a super drink, something that tasted good while including stimulants and other types of ingredients to get the body and the mind prepared to do whatever it is that you're going to do. Um, so some of the first pre-workouts were Ultimate Orange, which is pretty much just an orange drink and caffeine mixed in. Then came Celtec, um, Jacked, and I'll Explode, and all these pre-workouts had kind of the same idea of creating a super drink while adding their own little twists or breakthrough to 
stimulant slash pre-workout drink. Ultimate Orange just added stimulants and it'll explode introduced pump technology, nitric oxide, um, cell tech introduced creatine and so on. Today there are obviously hundreds of brands of different supplements, pre-workouts, some reputable, some not so reputable. Obviously this stuff is not FDA approved so it's important to know what you're putting in your body. Some companies have actually reverted to this macro dosing um, that goes on kind of behind the scenes or if you don't really know what you're doing, you're not even aware of it. Um, truth is you don't actually need as much as is recommended on serving size, about 9 out of 10 times. Your body excretes excess amounts of ingredients that it doesn't need. It's also sometimes harmful to add all these chemicals, bioaccumulation of all these ingredients, but that's another story for another day. In a nutshell, you don't always need fully recommended serving on the back of the ingredient. However, when looking for a pre-workout, it is important to look for a reputable company, and I'll talk about those in a little bit, but it's also important to look for certain ingredients. So you want to look for your beta alanine, creatine, um, these are your power boosters, you want to look for your tyrosine, taurine, B vitamins, these are your energy boosters, uh, caffeine is obviously a stimulant put in the pre-workout. You want to look for glutamine, BCAAs, as muscle builders, um, and then other ingredients such as nitric oxide or green tea, all these um, kind of additives and supplementation to um, pre-workout. So those nitric oxides, fat burners will serve different purposes. But above is listed some of the ingredients you do want to look for. Now jumping into why we actually use it. Um, so pretty much it's a slap to the face to get you out of a funk or prepped for some athletic activity or whatever it is that you may be doing. Um, it's a little bit of an aid to perform to your best during one or two hours of training. Um, I specifically like to take it because of beta alanine um, that boosts endurance, kind of buffers that fatigue factor that goes on. Um, like anything, there's obviously risks and downfalls to consume pre-workout higher quantities of anything, especially caffeine, aren't always the healthiest for your heart. Um, taking lower quality of supplements could be cut with different lower quality ingre ingredients or additives. So once again, I suggest being aware and knowing your product. Now jumping into what I do. I either use Megawatt by First Form or Total War by Redcon One, both very reputable companies, transparent about how they make their product. I use it once a day, three quarter scoop, and that's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to talk about with pre-workout today. Obviously, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me, and I'll reach out to you when I can. Thanks. What's up, guys? Quick Windy Willow update for the week. Still currently have our store and our promo code go going, Healthy Fit. Um, also, wanted to make you aware of our recent blogs that we had last week and this week. We didn't put out a blog last week just because we were super busy. Um, so this week's is Fake It Until You Become It. It's a really good blog with a quote from Richard Branson. Um, I think you guys would enjoy it. It applies to our everyday life. Um, I'm taking chances. Also, I want to make you guys aware of our Instagram page. Make sure to follow us at Windy Willow Apparel. Um, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, guys.